Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Katie, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Here we are again. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be filming a super fun, kind of informative type video. And I'm gonna be showing you guys basically how I take my Instagram pictures, how I take them at home, how I take them by my spell. I don't know what English is. How I take them by myself, just kind of, you know, what I've been doing to find spots during like quarantine and not being able to go out and take pictures places. I've been having to find ways to switch it up a little bit. I mean, I'm sure you notice on my Instagram repeating areas quite frequently now, but it's just what I have to do. I'm trying my best, okay? So yeah, today I'm gonna show you guys what I use and how I kind of set up my photos, how I get ideas, stuff like that, you know, fun stuff. I uploaded a video previously, like a year ago, showing how I take my Instagram pictures, but it was more of like how I take selfies and then how other people take pictures of me outside of the house. I went to like Sweet Frog and I took pictures there. So like, I can't go to Sweet Frog also, recently I have been not wanting to bother my roommates with them taking endless pictures of me. <laughs> so I've resorted to taking them myself. I'm gonna show you how I do that. So it's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna first of all pick an outfit because I've been wearing this t-shirt for three days. So we're gonna pick an outfit, find a place, and then we'll get crack on that can. Up to the closet we go. Come on, Stella. There she comes. So I'm kind of cheating right now because I already looked for an outfit, but I honestly just did it to save time because if I were to actually look for an outfit on camera, it would be about 30 minutes of footage. Just because I'm really indecisive and it's hard to find things to wear that I haven't worn in a picture before and I try not to be like super repetitive with my outfits, but I practically wear the same thing every day, so it's hard, you know? Anyways, I laid out some options here. The first one, I have these baggy jeans that I got from Shein and the top is also from Shein. It's this cute little tanky tank top. That's the vibe with this one and I'm probably gonna throw like an oversized jacket on with it. And then the second option is to wear these jeans again, but darken it up a little bit. So wear this cute little bralette top and then put this over top of it, a little baggy cardigan. I think I'm gonna try both of these on and we're gonna see which one kind of matches what I'm trying to go for. And then after that, I like to base my outfit usually off of what location I have in mind. And I do have something in mind, so I'm gonna see what, what the vibe vibe goes with more, you know? So I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is option number one. However, um, these jeans, these jeans are a bit <laughs> big. So I'm afraid this might have to be a sitting shoot, but I think I could make it work, you know? Uh, I don't know, they might be too baggy to where it's like, eh. This top is cute with it. I'm just gonna see the vibe of this real quick. I might like it better, but this is definitely an option. All right guys, little update. This is what I decided to go with. I just felt like I like this skirt better because these were just a little too much for the moment, you know? So I kept this top because I tried on this, this situation which is now in the closet because it was so horrid. Yeah, I don't know, it, it just did not work. And then while I was putting it away, I saw this cute little tennis skirt. Princess Polly, Shein, and Target, my friends. So then I threw the jacket over it because I just felt like I wanted to add some comfort and cozy to the look but yeah there's the fit and now I let some gloss and now guys we are ready for the picture itself okay so this is the part where you really gotta think and you're like what place in my household have I not taken a picture and then you realize none there's no place. So I have had an idea for a little bit to take a few flicks in my car because the last picture I posted in my car was like pretty long ago. And what you gotta do next is just look for some inspo. So I have already had this idea in the back of my head. So I have pre-saved some examples of like car pictures. Like there's this one where she's eating, but I'm trying not to get any more junk food. Then there's like this cute one, she's on the phone. Now, how I take these pictures, you guys, this is the most important step, the most important information. This baby right here. So this is an extendable tripod and camera selfie stick, if you would 
please. But I got it because the only tripod I have is my ring light. And my phone, I have a very hard time hooking it up to my ring light. I don't really have like a phone thing for that. And when I set it against something like a flat surface, say I set it against this cup here on my table, you can tell that it's a self timer picture because of the way it's just a straight on angle. It might cut off your head. It might, you know, cut off the outfit and we don't want that. So you want something that is adjustable. Now they have hella phone tripods on Amazon. Like there was a lot. I will leave this down below for you guys if you're interested in this exact one, but there are hundreds of them. This does come with a camera mount. It comes with a phone mount. Here I have the phone mount on it. So I can hook up my phone, put it right here. Boom. And then I can use this after this is out and I can tilt it so it can tilt down it can tilt up You can move it all sorts of ways So it gives you an angle and it makes it look like someone is taking the picture that is the key Someone is not taking my Instagram pictures surprise surprise they were until I just felt like I didn't want to be a burden anymore so I got one of these and now I take majority of my Instagram pictures do you guys see this picture that was on my Instagram it may look like someone professionally took this picture in reality it was just my phone on this tripod a little slanted angle um anyways I'm gonna pull my car out and I'm gonna try to situate this to where it's like standing up or something and we're we're just gonna have to figure out the angles the car might not work it might not be ideal and then we're gonna have to move somewhere else but it's an idea so why not try it I just realized I forgot to tell you the best part of that tripod this remote button this comes with the tripod you hook it up Bluetooth for your phone and then literally you press this button and it takes pictures on your phone so I'll like hide this in my hand I'll do something with my hair so you can't see it I'm a little trickster so you don't have to like go back to your phone and timer that such a long process. So yeah, key, key, key. I don't know how that slipped my mind. Okay, so we're in the car and I was gonna back it out so I have more lighting to like sit in the passenger seat, but my neighbors are out and I just don't, they're very judgmental. So I just kind of want to dodge that bullet. Change of plans. We're gonna be sitting in the driver's seat and I'm just gonna scoot my car kind of to where the light is going in, but I'm still in the garage. I'm just gonna park it sideways. I've situated my car. Not sure how these photos are gonna turn out. So let's extend it all the way. Here we go. I propped it right here. I'm gonna take my cellular device, bring it on the camera, switch it to selfie mode real quick. The mode I keep it on depends on the lighting. If it's dark lighting, I will use back camera so the quality is better. If it's good lighting, I will use front camera. But I like to kind of feel it out first to see, you know, to see what works better. I took a few sample shots and the lighting isn't terrible, but I think I'm gonna go with back camera just because it might look a little better. So we're gonna try that out. <sighs> Let's see. It's not bad, but I do think I have to pull it out because the background of the garage is just really killing the vibe. If people will watch me, whatever. All right, so I've pulled outside. I've set the phone up. I'm gonna try front camera one more time, but it's much better lighting. I think the background's better. These are definitely gonna be better. Honestly, so I'm gonna keep these I want to move back inside to take a few more maybe in a different location But this this was good So I've kind of found another spot I'm gonna try to take a few pictures see how they turn out But I just want to like take them sitting on the floor here have the camera directly towards me or a little bit angled over me And we're gonna see we're gonna see how they turn out so let's give it a go. Location number two. Let's try to angle this the way I want. I'm gonna take this little ottoman thing I have here. I'm gonna take this, lower it down to like one notch maybe. And for a good angle, I'm gonna make these bottom two a little bit shorter than the top or the back one so it leans forward, kind of like it's leaning over me. We're gonna set up the phone. I'm gonna try front camera, but I kind of think back camera is gonna be the way 
<gasps> I almost died. Okay, let's see. All right, not too shabby. So right now, the camera's like directly over you and it's like leaning in towards me. We're gonna try these. These ones might be better than the last ones. Okay, I think I can I think I can work with them So I'm gonna look through these real quick and then I will be back to show you guys kind of like the minimal editing I do and stuff like that. I don't really do a lot, but I'm gonna favorite my favorites and I'll be back All right guys, so I'm just gonna show you a real quick thing of how I quickly edit my pictures I usually don't like doing too much, but I thought I'd throw this in there because why not so these are like the literal three I like total <laughs> The thing is with me, I could take so many pictures and only like three. So there's my three. I'm gonna choose one of these, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like this one we'll choose. I go into an app called Afterlight. Let's find these pictures again. These are pictures that I had to take for a company, so <laughs> excuse those. Choose the picture, and then I just kind of do simple touch-ups. So I'll brighten it a little bit. I like to add vibrance so I don't look like so dull, if that makes sense. And I just do little adjustments of everything, kind of. So like highlights, I'll either drag it down or drag it up. In this case, I'll bring it up a little bit. Shadows, um, I think I like down a little. And then lastly, I like to sharpen it. So it's like a nice, nice good old quality. Then I'll save that. And if I want any like edits or filters, I like to go to prequill. Then I'll go to filters. And I mean, if I want like a cutie one, Miami, but I'll lower it down to like literally nothing. So it just has a very small titch and it makes like the tiniest difference. But I like Miami because it takes away the green tone that is in literally all of my pictures. So there is that. And honestly, that's pretty much all I do editing wise. I don't know, I don't like to go like too ham on them. Just save it. And you can just see like the minor adjustment that the filter made but it's cute so yeah like I said I don't really like to edit too much that's just kind of the feel I like to keep on my feed I don't know some pictures I have to edit more than others just because the tone is off and it doesn't mesh but that pretty much sums it up that's how I take my pictures you got a little glance of how I edit my pictures and just kind of all how I do it at home by myself but that's pretty much it so I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please smash that like button and subscribe down below and don't forget to press that notification bell to get notified every time I upload and to become part of the notification squad. Hashtag Rose Gang. So that is all for today and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LABB who we running with. Yeah. 2233 I'm on 10